welcome to my organized life where I'm trying to get my life organized. And so far, I feel like it's actually working. Um, I've went through almost the entire week without feeling too overwhelmed and that's been extremely nice because usually I take on way too much and I get way overwhelmed. But with planning and everything, um, I find it a little bit easier to balance and actually see when I'm taking on too much and uh, it's nice to be able to kind of adjust that. And then with the budgeting, it's really nice to see my finances, see actually what they're doing. So today I'm just going to be doing a check-in on my budget. So I'm in the middle between paychecks, so pretty much like every, every other Friday, um, I like to just check in and see where I'm at for my finances. So I'm just gonna do that today and um, it's nothing that you need to do or anything, but it is something that I like to do. So I'm just going to go through all of my um, my accounts or envelopes or whatever you would like to call them and just make sure that they're all matching where they should. So I'm going to start off by just writing down um, what I'm going to check. So, I've got all of my envelopes and stuff here, so we also have my budget book as well. So this is the binder that I keep my uh, Budget by Paycheck PDF copy of the Budget Mom's Workbook in. Um, I really absolutely love this. I like that I can just, I can change out the cover if I want to, which is awesome. And then I did add little quotes and just online resources that I found to kind of make it my own. Um, I created my own tabs and everything, so they're not exactly perfect or perfectly spaced or anything, but I'm very happy with them. So we are halfway into my first paycheck budget, so um, like I said, on every other Friday, I like to just kind of do a check-in and see how I'm doing. So this was um, my first budget for my first paycheck. So um, one of the first things I did was I checked to make sure that my debit and savings accounts um, t totaled what they were supposed to. So that is the correct amount. So in my basic plus, which is my debit account, I've got $91.95. And then in my basic, which is my savings account, I've got $160.04. And this is the one that most of my bills comes out of. And this is the one that I just like to keep a little bit of extra just in case I don't have cash on me or in case the store is not allowing you to use cash at the time, that kind of thing. So I did run into one problem. Um, I think I solved it, hopefully. I'll be out 72 cents, but I'm not really too worried about it. So, um, so here, I've got a cat kind of in the way here. Um, here I've got a groceries envelope transfer to groceries envelope. So I keep some of my groceries in my account. So I kept $100 of my grocery money in my account and then the other $150 in an envelope. Um, my grandmother needed me to pick something up for her. It cost $15.72. So I just used my card for that and I put it down as a transfer to groceries. So she it gave me $15, so it doesn't account for the 72 cents. So what I did was I just put here that I transferred into groceries and the $15. So I'll be missing 72 cents, but that's the way I did that because it just made the most sense. So that way I basically just took the money from my um, groceries account into my groceries envelope. So I'm hoping that, that makes sense. Um, So since we're just doing a check-in, one thing that I like to do is I like to keep track, where is it here, of what I've what I've spent and what I should have in my accounts. So for example, this one right here says that we should have $140.04 in my bills account. So $140.04. Um, so we had 160.04, and the reason why is because there's a $20 cushion that I'm keeping in there. So it's I classify it here as already spent. So if I add that, I don't know what happened there. Okay, let's try that again. 140.04 plus 20, that'll give me my 160.04 that's in the account. So 
that number already adds up, so we're good there. So I'm just going to check mark both of those because they're good. And then we'll just go through um, all of my envelopes and make sure that the money is actually adding up. We'll see how much we're off. Got a dime here, I don't know where that came from. So I've also just been keeping my cash, or my change, in my cash envelope here. Or cash envelope. My change part of my wallet. So that will kind of change things, but we'll see if we can kind of appropriate the right amount of change to where it needs to go to make sure that everything's good. This is my change for my cab money, and then I've got all of my envelopes here. So we're going to start off with pull this down a little bit. We're going to start off with groceries. So for my groceries, since I have some in the account as well, I show how much I have in the account. And then I also use the highlighter method to see whether I made a, um, a debit purchase or a cash purchase. That way I know which account to take it out of and then my total. So I'm not going to worry about the account part, but in cash I should have $166.35. So let's see if that's right. So groceries. So one fifty sixty five sixty six twenty five and thirty five. So that would be our change for groceries. So I'm just gonna pop that back in the envelope as we go, and we can see how much we're over or short. Oops! Looks like there was another diamond here. I think I've got everything else. Okay. So groceries was one sixty-five thirty-five, right? No one sixty-six thirty-five. Okay. Next up is food, which I don't keep track on here since I always keep my food and, or not, not food, sorry, I'm thinking lunch. Okay, so food, yes, food I have here. So I should have $42.95. So here's the 40, 2, 25, 50, 75, 85, 95. So that will be food. Down forty two ninety five. Okay, so cab money. It's another one I keep track on here. So I should have forty three dollars. So here's my cab money here. And I won't be using any of the change for this. So I've got five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty five, thirty five. Gonna write that down or punch that in so I don't forget. So there's 35. There's 6, there's 7, 8, 39, 40, 41, 42, 43, 44, 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, 50. Why? Okay, so how much am I over here? That's strange. My cab money has always been exact, so I'm a little bit stumped right now. Okay, minus 43. So I have $7 more than I should. Okay, so here I had a starting balance of 70. have on the first. I did work on the first, so that's probably accurate. So 64. Um, I didn't work the weekend. I did work the fourth, so minus 7. It's 57. Um, i trying to think. There was a day... The boys 
took me into work one day. I'm wondering if I counted that for some reason. Um, I'm just trying to remember what day that was. Okay, so one way I can figure this out is I can go into my cab log. So I always call the same company. So I did not call them on the 5th. So I did not take a cab on the 5th. So that is... I did not. So this should be 50. Okay, problem solved. So we have the exact amount that we're supposed to have for cat money. Tired me must have thought, hey, I got to work in the morning. Must have taken a cab. Because I usually do. The boys usually aren't up, but they were up that day because puppy was being a puppy. <laughs> okay, so cab money is accurate at $50. Okay, so lunch money. So that one is the other one that I track here. So according to this, I should have $50.55. So very messy writing. We'll see what we actually have here. So here is my lunch money envelope. So 20, 40, 50, 25, 50, and five. So that will be the change for lunch money. So we'll say that that's good. I'm just assuming that they're good. I wouldn't know except until I went through like the actual numbers um, of purchases I made, but that's a little bit too tedious and I just want to check in. I don't want to do a whole bunch of work. I just want to see where I'm at overall. So I, if I'm over or under, I'm not going to know which category until I actually go through everything when I close um, the paycheck budget. So. I'm going to write $50.55. And okay, so we've only got 20 cents here, so that's not too bad. Um, what's next? Next we have pet. Which I think I grabbed those. Yeah, I did. Okay, I don't think I touched my pet envelope at all. So I've still got $60, and that's how much I should have. So I'll write 60 for that. Okay, beauty. I haven't touched this as well because the salons are still closed. So I've got 20, 35, and I don't have this written down actually, but I'm pretty sure that's how much I put in there. So we'll write 35. Miscellaneous? I don't think I've touched this one either. So we're going to be over 40 cents or 20 cents. That's 20 cents. Okay, so one, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 2. There's still 200 in there. I still have to pay my mom back too. I actually seen her last night and totally forgot it. Okay, so then after having all of this done, and this I don't really count the accounts. Um, what did I do with my pen here? So then I would add my change normally because this stuff is all accounted for in the envelope. So I've got. 20 cents of change, and then I would go through and add all of this up. Okay, so that is how much we have. So then if I come over to my cash, but oh, we're actually not as bad as I thought. So I'm not quite sure where this other change is supposed to go then, because according to this, I should add $605.15. So this is have, this is pretty much like should have. So I should have 605.15. So if I do that, it'd be point, it'd be five cents more than what I should have. Which means some of these are off, but I mean it's balancing out for the most part, so that's not too bad. Although I do know that I've got that 
70 cents missing technically. So yeah, that is how I just check in on my budget, see how I'm doing, see if my um, stuff is adding up. One of the reasons I like to do that is if I see like a large amount, like if it's if it's pennies or like less than five dollars, I don't generally worry about it too much. But if it was a larger amount that was missing, maybe I forgot to write down a transaction, it's easier to go back within a week than it is to go back within like two weeks or like a month when I notice it, when I close the budget or whatever. So it's just a lot easier to track everything that way. So um, the next video I have planned to go up would be, I think this one actually, so this will be out later today and then after that it will be my plan with me, I believe that will be out on Monday. And then I think that's good. I think I'm caught up. I'm not really sure to be honest, but yeah, just uh, make sure if you're interested to subscribe and ring the bell if you want to know when I upload because my uploading schedule is pretty sporadic right now until I nail down times to hopefully upload. And even then it could possibly change because with my job um, right now, we have a manager that is scheduling us for consistent days. So I usually work the same days every week, which is lovely. And I'm as much as I love my actual manager, I'm kind of dreading her coming back because it's just so sporadic. I usually do work the weekends, so I know I usually work Saturday and Sunday, but then other times she'll schedule me for like an extra day than I wanted to work, or she'll schedule me for just like random days and my days off will be spaced out and then it's, it's really hard to get stuff done. So um, my uploading might always be sporadic. Hopefully not, but yeah. So just make sure you ring the bell if you're interested to make sure you know when I upload. All right, so that is how I close my budget. I hope you guys enjoyed, and hopefully I'll see you next time. Okay, bye guys, take care.